Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So we came home the other day and our mailbox was tipped over like this. Now this had happened a little bit after Halloween so at first I thought it was just some rapscallion teenagers in the neighborhood throwing pumpkins out of their car as they flew by but it turns out upon closer inspection that actually the post of the mailbox had completely rotted out and uh, probably what ended up happening was uh, I must have ordered a large amount of Oreos and Dunkaroos that the Postal Service stuck in here one day and it just kind of tipped over due to the structural uh, failings of the post. So what I thought we would do today is take this opportunity to basically upgrade our old mailbox and post to this now giant 23 pound monster. Um, so if that sounds like fun, why don't we go ahead and I'll show you what's inside this box. All right, so here's the new mailbox. Um, I actually find this pretty hilarious. Uh, this is the, you can see it over here, it's the mail boss slash mail manager, and it's made by this company. This is hilarious. It's Epoch Designs. I don't know if you can see this here, but if you watch some videos of this, sometimes they pronounce this as Epic Designs. So if you need an Epic Mail Boss mailbox, this is the mailbox for you. <laughs> so um, yeah, if you need a hardcore mailbox, Box. This is it. It's model 7506B. Uh, surprisingly, this thing was more expensive than I thought. It was actually $100 for the mailbox, but that's because it's a uh, security locking mailbox. Um, and as you can see, the weight of this thing is, is non-trivial, right? It's 23 pounds. Like, this thing has got some heft to it. Um, but anyway, again, I just think it's hilarious that if you watch some of the uh, videos for this thingy, uh, the advertisements, they, it's total fear-mongering. They want to make sure that you know that I Identity theft is a problem and this is gonna stop it. And it's an epic mailbox, right, by Epic Design. So for an epic mailbox, we should open it up with an epic pair of scissors. Uh, so I stole my daughter's uh, kindergarten scissors. Let's see if we can get this thing open. We'll see what's inside. Again, the package is pretty vanilla, except, oh, here, this is nice. Okay, look at that. Okay, so it's actually nicely packaged. So I guess it's not gonna get damaged in transit. Let me see if I can get this thing out because yeah, it is pretty hefty as we saw. Let me just rip the side maybe, it's almost easier. Okay. Ugh. All right, let's get the package out of here. Don't need this anymore. Okay. So, whew, so it's definitely packaged nicely. Look at this, there's styrofoam enclosures all over, although I guess this isn't the greatest from a uh, environmental perspective. We've got all this extra styrofoam that we're gonna have to dispose of, but okay. Oh, and you got more styrofoam here on the bottom. Okay, so, and then it's encased in yet another plastic sheet. So yeah, huh, uh, green friendly wise, this is not the best. But, okay, here we are. Oh, yeah, this thing is hefty. Boy, oh boy, okay. So, here it is. Oof. Yeah, this is, a, this is a pretty beefy mailbox. So, it looks like we got keys that come with it. Uh, I guess, what is this package? It's just a little, like, thing to hold it. Um, okay, oh, actually, well, look at that, three keys. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. Open this up. Let's see what we got here. Oh, so the keys are just tied on, I guess. So, okay, we got three keys. Put those off to the side with a little package. Oopsie, actually, wait, I do need the keys because I saw there was some extra hardware in here. Um, okay, so we got some instructions. There's some hardware. There's some other stuff. Uh, what in the world is this? Huh. Okay, so I guess it's got a little plastic sheet on the bottom, which is I guess all your packages and mail can sit on that when it comes through the slot in the top. So that's kind of interesting. That's cool. I guess maybe it stops it from getting uh, wet or something like that if there's some, uh, something like that. But oof, duh. yeah, this is a pretty honking mailbox for sure. Um, yeah, oh, the flag is kind of nice. I guess, again, you look at the website, they say that this is a uh, this is a vandal resistant flag, you know? I guess those hoodlum kids can't come by and just snap off your flag because it's flexible. So there you go. Okay, so here's what we got with the box. Um, 
Let's see if we can lay all this out so you can see what's going on. Uh, let me pull off this other third key. Oh, okay. Okay, so we got three keys that come with the system. I guess this little key pouch or whatnot. <laughs> uh, it's pretty darn flimsy. I bet that was just to hold the keys in the mailbox during transit. Looks like you got four lag screws. I guess this is probably for installation on the post. Oh, that's kind of interesting. They include a drill bit as well. I assume this is to drill out holes for these lag screws. Um, okay, and then we got this thingy, which is, I guess, obviously, uh, go ahead and register your mailbox. <laughs> I don't know why you need to register. Maybe so they can push software updates to this thing later, <laughs> right? Uh, I'm kidding, there's no software on this. Okay, and then we got instructions. Um, yep, cool. So this is uh, pretty much everything that comes in the package. So uh, I think the next thing to do is let's go ahead and see if we can go install a new post outside so we can get this guy uh, set up. So the first thing to do was to dig out the remnants of the old rotted post and then widen the hole a little bit. Now, I know some people like to surround the post with concrete, but for this simple mailbox, I mean, even one that weighs 23 pounds, I ended up just sticking a pressure treated four x four into the hole and then backfilled it with dirt and it's completely fine. Once the post was installed, I placed the mailbox on top of the post and marked the lag screw locations using a Sharpie. I could then use the supplied drill bit to drill out some pilot holes for the lag screws. Then it's just a simple matter of screwing in the lag screws, um, although you can't really fit a drill in there so you have to do this a little bit by hand. And then reinstalling the plastic tray on the bottom finishes the job. All right, so we've got it all installed. So uh, let's take a look at this. This is actually kind of funny. As I was finishing up installing this, um, my uh, local uh, mailman came by and actually dropped off some mail so we can actually test it right now and I'll show you. So I got some mail, including some small little packages. So what ends up happening with this is uh, there's this upper slot, which is unlocked, right? And it also has sort of this little, little anti-fishing kind of bracket here. But basically what happens is uh, the mail carrier comes along and they will put this up here and there you go see it fits in there quite nicely um now if i understand it correctly they actually do not have a key to down here it's only you as the uh, mailbox owner have the key so they actually can't unlock this to put in for example larger packages so i actually ordered some uh, uh another some more of 3d printing filament so this larger package actually unfortunately will not fit up here i mean it looks like it fits but again this this little anti-fishing anti-hand grabbing uh, bracket here prevents this from fitting in so again they don't have the key so they can't open up this lower uh, compartment in order to put in large packages so again my mail carrier what they usually do is they just stick this larger package on the front porch so I guess that kind of halfway defeats the locking security feature of it but whatever I guess that's what you got to do but um, once the mail goes in uh, right it's actually it should be in there pretty securely again this bracket here makes it very difficult actually let me see if I I can actually even get my hand in there so actually well it makes it difficult but not impossible i can i can kind of feel uh i knocked it over uh oh now my hand is stuck in here ah. <laughs> so hold on a second we'll, we'll look at this again in a second um but it makes it very difficult to grab a uh, mail that's already fallen in now you as a homeowner you come around and you've got your key and you should be able to open this up now and uh, yeah, retrieve your mail like such. Now, that being said, I do want to show you because I actually could just barely feel it. Like for example, with this set of mail, if this goes in and it's sitting just like that, right? So the mail carrier went and just dropped in their mail. If it doesn't fall all the way to the floor, actually, if you watch this, let me see if I can get it, Put my hand in here. Oh no, it fell into the floor again, hold on. Let me try this one more time. I've, I've got it in a situation where it's actually able to still be retrieved. Let's, let's try this one more time, see if I can demonstrate this to you. So, let's see, it goes in. 
and then yeah now look at this now if I try to get my hand in here aha look at this uh, uh, well it's it's not easy to do but it's doable aha there look look at that aha look I was actually able to get the package back out so again be a little bit cautious that I think it depends on how the mail falls um, if there's a big set of uh, you know like newspapers or something like that that's propping it up and maybe making it a little bit higher it is possible to get your hand in there and again I've kind of you know I'm not the beefiest guy but I've got a larger hand if you had someone with a small hand I think you probably could reach your way into there and grab things but oh well um, such is life right um, the, the other nice thing I think uh, it's it's pretty well constructed so apparently they make a claim that the way this is designed it makes it difficult to kind of pry uh, with a uh, screwdriver or I guess we can try like you know like a crowbar it's hard to get purchase um, on any of these locations so I guess that's nice and I will say it is well constructed it is pretty thick for example you know I think this is some powder coated steel if we kind of measure this with my little dial caliper what do we got here um, yeah that's almost a tenth of an inch so a hundred thousand thick of steel uh, powder coated so again that's that's quite nice so uh, yeah pretty happy with it so far um, and again it is pretty easy to then come in here and retrieve your mail once it's in here and then just lock oops I got one more back here lock it back up again you can kind of see a little bit of the uh, lock mechanism nothing pretty nothing too super duper fancy I, th I think this is again also anti pry anti tamper um, but whatever uh, oh I, I know while we're sitting here let me show you one other thing that's interesting now that you have now we understand that there's the the unlocked open component and then the locked bottom component you might be asking wait a second how does this work when you have outgoing mail right obviously we already talked about this is this great you know anti vandalism flag where I guess you can't really <laughs> break this with a flying pumpkin or anything like that but the way uh, that works is if you have outgoing mail obviously you cannot you can't just take your outgoing mail let's pretend I want to send this out you can't stick the outgoing mail down here right that's not gonna work because how's the post uh, man gonna come on and grab your mail so that's not gonna work because they don't have this key so instead what you can do if you have outgoing mail is up here I don't I don't know if you can see this but there's a little latch right here maybe let me grab the camera and see if you can see this a little bit more easily see this little latch right here so what you can do is you can use that to kind of secure your outgoing mail to the top of the lid like such now when you've got the flag up hopefully your mail carrier knows how these things work and now that you've got outgoing mail flag you can just kind of open up and they can find the letter that is supposed to be outgoing and take that with you um, so obviously it's not locked it's not secure so again something you might need to think about all right so one other thing i wanted to show you is uh, again here's the old mailbox right it was this cheap sort of plastic jobby and uh it had this sort of cantilever design where the mailbox was cantilevered off of the main post right and that was totally fine because this mailbox was so darn light and really uh even if you shove this thing full of you know hostess fruit pies and cliff bars it didn't weigh enough to kind of be a problem but again remember this thing the new one this the, the mail boss right was 23 pounds and now you saw the volume of it was significantly more so even uh, if you were able to get you know a thin amount uh, I guess a Twinkie box is about that size right so if I ordered 15 boxes of Twinkies and uh, combine that with the super heavy uh, weight of the actual mailbox uh, I don't think you wanted to cantilever it off the post like this so in this case I don't know if you can see it from this angle but the mailbox it seems to be designed to be sitting right on top of a post most of the mounting holes inside um, look to be uh, positioned so that you can place it right on top or having the center of gravity of the mailbox going straight on top of the post so uh, anyway something else to think about um, so I guess for that being said this is probably a great spot to leave it I hope you enjoy the video and if so I also hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel it really does help me continue making these videos and remember the new videos come out every Monday so I hope I'll catch you at one of these future discussions and we can all learn something new together so until then I think I'll sign off talk to you later bye